Hi, this is Trinity Owens, and I'm here with some representatives from BSU. Um, I just want to start off with your guys' names, year, and major. Hi, my name is Ashley Davis. I'm president of Black Student Union. I'm a senior here at Cleveland State, business marketing major. Hi, my name is Stanley Wagner. I am a senior at Cleveland State and a major in health science and minor in... Uh, Organizational leadership. Good afternoon. My name is Jay Gould. I'm a senior marketing major, and I am president of the Link Student Association. And we're collaborating with BSU and the MPAC on the graduation weekend in color. Alrighty. So I just wanted to start off with um, talking about um, the elections that are going on right now. Um, Stan, I know you're running for. BSU president in the next year. Um, what made you, you know, want to run in the election? Uh, I figured uh, since I do have another year left, um, it would be good for me to continue on the upper progression of Black Student Union and just uh, continue to serve as like a pinnacle to Black students on that CSU. Okay. Um, and Ashley, with you being the current president, what are your expectations of Stanley in the new year? My expectations are set very high. You know, I trained him up well. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, I believe Stan's going to do well as president of Black Student Union. He's had, always did well as treasurer. He's always been a good helping whenever I needed him. Um, next semester, I will be helping just in case anyone ever needs help. Um, I'll still be in Cleveland, so. Okay. Um, and what are your plans? Like, what do you want to do in the next year when it comes to, you know, BSU events or just, you know, anything you want to, you know, see on campus, that kind of thing? Um, I would say, well, first, uh, I would like to get more incoming freshmen involved. Uh, I feel like some, that's something we definitely could have improved on this year is getting more freshmen involved and aware of Black Student Union. So, uh, I feel like the first major thing is tackling Magnus Fest. Uh, we weren't we weren't able to get that position last year, but uh, this year we're definitely on top of it. We want to definitely uh, attack the man's best to get everybody uh, on board. Okay. Um. So with the with black students being somewhat, for lack of a better word, removed um, from you know what's going on. Um, even like you know, with Magnus Fest, how do you plan on getting more students involved? Like, what do you do? You have anything special that you're gonna offer, or? Um, I believe it starts with better marketing. Uh, once we market better to uh, different students around different colleges on campus, uh, just kind of reach that big base of uh, minority students on campus. That's the goal to got to kind of get more people involved to be issue. How have you guys gotten people involved, like, in the past? I know you have an Instagram account yes, and things uh, like that. Instagram, we were definitely uh, heavy, heavily relying on Instagram and uh, emails also. So we sent out a lot of emails to Black Student Union members about upcoming updates and other further events down the road. Um, and then the new year, um, I know, like, this year we had, you know, BSU Week with the clothing drive mm -hmm. and, you know, all those events. Um, are there any events that you want to bring back or new events that you want to add to the roster for next um, year? We want to start uh, – uh, we are in talks with uh, the Tamir Rice uh, Foundation. Okay. Uh, kind of get a collaboration with them. So uh, next semester, that will definitely be something we'll, we'll bring on board, which would be really great for our campus. Okay, and um, what is one goal, you you know, running for president, what is one goal that you would like to see reached in the Black Student Union in the coming year? Increased participation. Um, I feel like some people, I understand that some people have jobs and this is a community school, but uh, getting everybody on board with every event and uh, just seeing the overall outcome be better is uh, really one of the biggest goals I want to tackle for the next year. Okay. And Ashley, with you, you know, being the current president, the goals that you set out for yourself when you became president, do you feel that, you know, you reached them? Um, I said, I think we strive to the goal to get closer to them. I don't think we completely accomplished them because I would have liked to reach out to more freshmen, got more 
minority students engaged at Cleveland State. We did reach out to a lot this semester or this past year since I've been president. Um, but I see the issue growing more and more because it's just the consistent work. And is there anything that you would like to see? Are there any events that you have in your head being that you're going to, you know, still be around to help out next semester? Or? I'm excited for our United Prosperity third annual. Okay. So the goal is to get that bigger and bigger, get more alumni involved, more students. It gets bigger every year. First year was 100, second year was 150. Kind of hit the goal. Okay. And do you guys believe that BSU will be able to set out those goals for the next year? No, without a doubt. Okay, and as far as um, the gradu graduation weekend in color, um, you guys want to, you know, talk about that? We can, you know. Um, yeah, so it really, it really just came out of the blue. Like, there was just an opportunity to collaborate. Um, so this is Jay. I've, I've been at the university for about four, five years. Four, five right, yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this it's, like, we, some of us are first-generation students. Some of us aren't. But we all still come from similar communities and similar upbringings. So anytime a student of color or someone from a marginalized population graduates, it's a big deal. Like Cleveland State is located in a city that's over 75% um, black or for people from diverse backgrounds. So we have to really focus on and celebrate the accomplishments. It is not something we can lean on the university to do for us. Uh, one, because they're still improving and implementing their diversity initiative. Um, so we kind of have to lead the way in these things we do. So we just want to celebrate the accomplishments um, of the current graduates, what alumni have accomplished, and then um, the prospective graduates, um, um, freshmen, sophomores, and then seniors that will be occurring next year. We really want to unite the black community, but in a way that's innate to us. Because sometimes things happen on this campus without our input, um, and they say it's for us, but it can't be for us if it isn't by us. Okay. Um, what kind of events are you guys going to be hosting during that weekend? So May 10th is the Stroll Bounce. So Stroll Bounce is a fusion of Greek culture strolling, which comes from uh, Africa. Um, to, to, to make strolling simple, I would say it's um, an expression of unison that you can sh of, of unity that you can share in between your fraternity brothers and sisters. And then across different organizations, because every org has their own different way of expressing that unity and then we're going to mix it with uh, skate culture as uh, skate, skate culture as well but black skate culture so it's a, it's a 90s vibe so we're bringing in those elements of what like the peak and the pinnacle of greekdom which was definitely 80s 90s and then what we what we're looking back to now is that nostalgic era of black culture like that hip-hop that 80s 90s mm -hmm. as well and then may 11th from 10 p.m to 2 a.m is the drip gala so that's just more um events that are innate to who we are so i'm just, i'm sure if you're listening you don't know what drip is like drip is like another it's just another form of style and the style and expression because when you go to a regular gala we have to do a lot of code switching mm -hmm. we have to dress or look a certain way but this is something that's more for us like we don't got a code switch come we can we can come as we are and drip how we want to okay um do you have any events that you're looking forward to um, for next semester? For the graduation weekend. Oh, both of them. Um, I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. I'm washed, so I won't be doing too much stroll <laughs> bouncing. But um, I'm looking forward to both of them. I'm just looking forward to, like, kind of make, make, just make a dent, a dent in this, in, in these barriers between us on campus. Because, like Stan had alluded to earlier, there's, like, a lot of commuters. And there's a lot of on-campus people. If you, if... If if anyone hears this, well, when people hear this, take a peek at the new diversity strategy they made. There's 1,500 black students on this campus, which you wouldn't even know, right? So I'm just excited to just bring everyone together in a fun way, in an unconventional way. Because when people first saw this thing, they were excited because they know, like we all know at this table, these things don't happen. And it's been hard making it happen. Yeah. Are there going to be... Um representatives from all of the orgs in the Divine Nine, or? Yes, okay. yes, from Alpha Phi Alpha all the way to Iota Phi Theta. Okay. Everyone, it's going to be great. All right, well, that's exciting. Anything else you guys want to say? Or? I'm good. Oh, yeah, go. Get your, get your tickets from gwic.eventbrite.com. Yeah. yeah. Definitely come out. We're excited to see everyone. It's a free event. Bring your college ID. 
tickets won't last long. We well, got a limited amount of tickets. Yeah, and and, so. and and it is limited, and we limited it for 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 a reason as well, not to be not to be exclusive, but to make sure that um, how can I say this? It doesn't drown out by too many people. Yeah, yeah, we wanna we wanna we wanna keep it in we wanna keep it in the culture, but we also wanna keep it safe as well. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because the first time something happens, all they all they all they would say is we shouldn't have done it. Mm-hmm. We yeah. knew we we knew with those people, so we're trying mm-hmm. to avoid that they and those yeah. people. So yeah, mm-hmm. get your tickets early because yeah. it is it is limited tickets. Like limited definitely means limited. Mm-hmm. Tell a friend. And tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm-hmm. Now, is it on campus or? It's actually at the Mocha, the Drip Gala, is okay. at University Circle, and then the Skate Bounce is at Playmore Skate Rink. In okay. Euclid. Okay. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys. Um, we look forward to hearing you guys on the Cleveland Stater website. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.